Hello everyone, Class 47 Peter here and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at a product that has been sent to me by Jeff Reedman over at Jumbo Lane Printing and Jumbo Lane Model Railway and that product is, these, is this pack of assorted gravestones which have been 3D printed <laughs> This product has been sent to me by Jeff Reedman for feedback. It's part of the appraisal scheme. I have a form just here to give feedback on the product, which that I'll be doing later. And here we have the pack of gravestones itself, so I'll just open this up and have a look at these. So there's the packaging. And you've got the instructions on the back telling you that it comes with an assortment of gravestone styles and that they can be painted and weathered. It talks to you about add-on packs and the full instructions which are on the web website. So here we have the pack of gravestones which is what we're all here to see. And they come in this resealable bag. And the detail on these it really is impressive, it really is good detail. And they're very nicely printed as well, very well printed in fact. And so I already I do like them. They are going to be painted and I'm going to also think about weathering them up. So here we have the church on the layout and we have the graveyard. Now it already has some gravestones in there but to be honest with you most of the gravestones that are in here are crude to be honest. I mean if you take a look at something like this here that stone there which doesn't seem to want to budge is a bit crude if I'm honest in fact most of these stones are. I do quite like this one and that one is okay but the rest of them yeah they could be a bit better so these ones from Jumbo Lane Printing are going to be replacing the ones that are already in the graveyard because I think that the Jumbo Lane Printing ones are going to look better in here especially once they've been painted up and weathered etc. So the graveyard is being ripped up because I'm going to redo it. This area is going to be re-scattered and all the gravestones have been removed. So these ones, for example the ones made, as, made from Hornby Scaledale and some of these plaster cast ones are going to be replaced with the Jumbo Lane printing ones. This one however which is made from plaster will be going back in the graveyard I have got to glue the cross back on though because I accidentally broke it off when trying to remove it typical but you get the idea with the graveyard so now I'm going to be repainting the gravestones so I'm going to be using Umbral Matte 33 Umbral Matte 64 and Humbrol Matte 34 so there's going to be some grey, white and black gravestones because you don't see gravestones all the same colour so I thought that had a bit of variety
so all the gravestones have been painted. I haven't shown painting all of them on camera because I thought that you might be bored of seeing that. So I have painted them in a variety of colours because as I said at the earlier in the video, it'll add a bit of variety. So we have some white graving stones, some grey ones and some black ones. We've also got this one which is not made by Jumbo Lane Printing, but this is one that I have repaired and I've repainted. Obviously the bottoms of the grey stones, they haven't been painted as such, but that's not going to really matter because you're never going to really see the bottoms of them once they've been added onto the graveyard. We also get some crosses with the gravestones as well and you do get some different ones, as you can see there's the cross and then you have these ones that come with what I believe are meant to be reefs which I have painted as you can see so it's nice to have that bit of variety as well so now I'm going to be weathering the gravestones and so for this I'm going to be using these some colour soft pastels which is a technique I've not used before so it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out obviously I'm not going to be using all the pastels I'm just going to use a few of them just to do some weathering on the gravestones which I think that would look quite nice to have on the layout once they're done up like that So all the gravestones have now been weathered using the pastels and I am rather pleased with how these are looking. The weathering with the pastels, it's a simple but it's very effective. So it's a simple effect but at the same time it's also an effective one. And I have made sure to do as many different variants with the weathering as possible. If I'm honest though, I don't quite think that what you see on camera quite does it justice. But I am rather happy with these. Sort of giving them that aged and sort of worn look. And again it adds realism as well and detail. I don't normally go about weathering things for one reason or another usually because I like to keep things in pristine condition but I thought with these it would be a nice bit of detail to do with the weathering and given it's the first time I've used pastels to do this I think it's turned out quite well there are other weathering techniques that can be done but I think this one is quite good and I still have some other tombstones in there as well as the crosses. I've no idea if these are going to be used though on the 
graveyard where the church is on the layout. But it will mean then that I have some spares that could possibly be used for the future. But as for these tombstones, they're now finished. So what we can do now is we can get them added to the layout. Okay folks, so here is the graveyard and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rescatter this area first and then add back the walls. I'm also going to add in a pavement along here somewhere and then we're going to add the gravestones again. So the grass and the walls are now in place. Now, the walls I'm using are actually the stone walls, which you can get from Osborne's models. I have cut them to size. They are made out of foam. I mean, they are a tad expensive, but the detail on these is really, really good, as you can see. So they do look stunning. So they might not necessarily be the correct walls to put along here, but I thought they'd look nice there. And also, on a side note, they're also the walls that I've used along here as well. The scatter I've used, well, the static grass I've used, I'd say, I've actually used static grass. So it does st stand up a little bit, but I have tried to create an effect so that most of it's flat where people have been walking on it. Anyway, so the next step to do now is going to be adding in a pavement and then I'm going to be adding some gravestones. So I think what I'm going to do for the pavement is I'm probably going to make it out of paper. Okay viewers, scratch that idea. I'm not going to be making the pavement out of paper. I'm going to be using these, which are the Metcalf M0055 paving sheets. And I just thought I'd use these for the pavements because I just think that they'll look nice. Okay, so I've cut a strip from the paving sheet, which is going to go along here. I mean, the pavement used to come down along here and then down round here. But if I'm going to put it this way, like there, I mean, you'll have to imagine that obviously the graveyard is bigger than this, which is why there isn't a wall going along here. But it means that way I can have more gravestones here. So there'll be more room then, and I think that will look much better. So I've got my trusty Yu Hu glue. Okay, so we're ready for the gravestones now. So first of all, I've got this one, which I'm going to glue here. So 
So there we are. That's the first one in position. Now, for the gravestones, I want them to face this way. Because they will look better that way rather than facing the opposite direction. So, we will glue these into position. So I'm really really happy with what I've achieved and with the end results here with the graveyard. It definitely looks much better than how it looked before. And the Jumbo Lane printing gravestones, they really are some great products. They look even better when painted and weathered. But this just looks fantastic, this does now. The static grass has made a world of difference. So as the Metcalf paving sheet, the stone walls and the Jumbo Lane printing gravestones. Now they haven't been released yet because this was a product that I was lent to to give feedback on and I'm really happy with these gravestones. They do look good. They really do. They are some great little products. So when they're released, definitely go out and buy them. So that's all I have time for in today's video. That's about it, to be honest. There's not really much else left to say, other than the fact that these Jumbo Lane printing gravestones, really happy with them. Can't really fault them, to be honest. And that's not me being biased, I just can't really fault them. They just look brilliant, especially in the graveyard. So thanks for watching this video, it has been something a tad little bit different from what I usually do. Feel free to check out all my other videos on the channel. Smash the like button and feel free to post a comment. And if you like what you've seen, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.